Hello everybody, welcome back. We are playing some more Legends of Runeterra tonight. I don't know why that wasn't casual, sorry. That's literally so funny, just ca casually starting it up and I'm like in the wrong game mode. I don't even know how I got to that. But anyways, the Master of Runeterra Open was this past weekend to kind of help give us an insight into some more of the competitive meta. And this list was run by uh, Hao Qian, and he got first place with Evelyn Husks, Fizz Husks, and this Swain Alawi deck. I've seen a few people playing this. I thought it'd be fun to give it a try and see how it does. I'm a fan of the Noxus Control archetype. The Swain package, especially with Nora, has been one of my favorite decks recently. And any deck that runs Leviathan, Riftide Rex, pretty cool. I figured we'd give it a try and see how it does. I do think it does have a very powerful blend of creatures being able to win the game by just like pure aggression and damage early on and curving out and still having a lot of control tools to help interrupt your opponent's game plan. Whereas like Nora decks a lot of times are so reliant on the control aspect and it's hard to catch up on board sometimes because you'll just have like your little portals. Whereas Alawi can become a crazy win condition pretty early in the game with some huge tentacles. So let's see how it does. I'm excited to try it out. This is my first uh, game of Swain Alawi this season. So I don't expect it to be exceptional with it, but it is a fun archetype. So I'm excited to try it out. I also drink a lot of vitamin water and I just got a new flavor. I'm going to try for the first time live on stream. And so I'm a little nervous, but I'm sure it'll be good. I honestly really wanted to just play Jin Nara again today. Ooh, that's not bad. Kind of like that. Watchful Idol seems good. I don't think I keep Riptide Sermon. Maybe I should. I think I think this is fine. I'll say why. Uh, Riptide Sermon can kill Nar. And I don't think our opponent's going to be incredibly aggressive. It's not like, you know, a Jin Annie deck. And so if we can save up to be able to respond to an R on turn 3, Riptide Sermon is a very solid tempo play. Plus we do have a lot of middle mana cost units, like turns 3 through 5. We do have a lot of stuff to do, so I'm kind of okay taking the gamble. We do have three copies of Sea's Voice at three mana, two copies of Mirai Warden. I'm a little surprised they didn't take that block. Or take that attack. Because they're going to have to now commit a spell to kill this anyways. But I guess it kind of ends up being the same thing, right? Now they can kill just a one health unit rather than a two health unit, so I suppose that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I am pretty okay with this though. It's a little unfortunate we don't have anything else to do. Uh, like I mentioned, three copies of Sea's Voice, two copies of Mirai Warden, and... I am not Gubros would have been nice. If they just slam down a Jin. I think I'll play a Lowy. I want to be the aggressor here and force cards out of their hand. Because if they have to commit multiple resources to kill this Alawi, I'm pretty happy. Well, while we know we have like a Swain Leviathan combo in hand and one of our best removal spells. It's actually kind of nasty. He's already leveled. They only run one copy of Wallop, I believe. I mean, level Swain on turn 5. When was the last time you saw that? Hello, Max. I think this worked out alright. They have to commit the Sunhawk. It obviously saves them a lot of damage here. But I don't think they can kill Swain, so our our Alawi package is still also just as threatening. We're looking like we're in a pretty good spot. I think we played this alright so far. We could just kill Jin here, and I think I might. And this is actually kind of funny. 
Parley deals one damage to Jin, but I think with Disintegrate, it'll ping the Nexus, right? No, it won't. Okay. I was curious, since it does kill it with Disintegrate, I was curious if that would work out. Uh, I will do this, though. Because we have Reptite Sermon to kill a Nar, we can stun a Jin. Have the games been going recently? Uh, kind of okay. I didn't stream yesterday. I tried two games uh, on Jinx Samira or something. I don't even remember what I played, actually. Oh, no, no. I just played two more games of Jin Nar. That's what it was. Got destroyed, and I was kind of like, okay, I'm not really feeling it. So I didn't stream last night uh, because I wanted to play in the tournament, but I was at work, and so I forgot it wasn't one of those things where it's like the... Uh, uh, official Runeterra tournaments. You can kind of, like log in in any time during the six hour pyramid period to complete your matches. The Master Runeterra game started like three hours before I got off my shift. So I wasn't actually able to, uh, to compete in that yesterday. And so then I just wasn't feeling it when I got absolutely destroyed on ladder. <laughs> so then today, uh, this is just the first game. We're getting into it. But this deck has been doing really well. I'm kind of Excited to try it out. I think we just take the open attack, right? Because now they can play Broadmain. That's also very good, though. I feel... I feel... I feel like that was today. Maybe I was a little distracted here. What did we do last turn? We played Riptide Sermon on Broadmain. I guess that would have been better this turn. If I play Leviathan, do they have any way to deal with all of our stuff? I feel like there's a chance they might. <laughs> I think I'm just going to try to get in there. They can kind of decide to kill Swain or Leviathan. I imagine they can already kill one of our dudes with the... Lord Broadmain, like, they, they probably have two ping spells. So if I just attack with Swain Tentacle, they probably kill something here. I feel like it's more valuable to push a ton of damage with Leviathan here. Because, like I said, I kind of imagine he's going to die anyway. We have another Swain in hand. I don't know. I guess I could also just offer the end round and try to make it rain. But, hmm. That's pretty good. They keep... Uh, damage off of our tentacle though, which is nice, so we can try to get C's voice going. Another condense. Noxians are not the monsters they make us out to be. Uh. Alright, well now there's a good chance we can kill both the broad mains. But they've only played one real Broadmain. Two of them were condensed Broadmains, so there's still a good chance they might end up finding more. Nice. I'm really glad they didn't hit a unit there. They're also in a lot of trouble if our Swain hits next turn. Ah. Uh. Oh wait, that's not good for them though. Vision to see what others do. This is a lot of damage if they don't have any response. <laughs> Scorched Earth's nice too. They used one copy of Wallop and they almost never run two copies of Wallop in the main deck. Wow. That's not what I expected. They should have stunned Swain. I think they messed it up. 
because Swain still did seven damage. I guess it didn't matter, right? Either one, wait, either way, it did seven. I guess I just pass, right? I can try to use the damage from pure pirouette to kill Lord Bunning. Been doing anything interesting outside of LOR? Uh, I've kind of been middling in Gold 2 in League of Legends. And I've been baseball blogging. <laughs> That's been fun. I've been watching a ton of baseball. Usually, like, on it, like, literally my, my nightly routine after I, um, finish streaming is I head into the living room and just watch baseball with my mom. Like, my mom has a side business type thing of her own, so she'll work on that while I... Is there any reason for me to go face with this one damage? I don't know, but I'm going to anyways. Let me check my deck list. We do own one copy of Nox and Fervor, so that shouldn't matter if we top deck that. Riptide Sermon deals one to the enemy Nexus. So, like, Riptide Sermon plus a Make It Rain or something, or a Parley. Or should I top deck... What if I just let... What if I let Nar hit? I want to let Nar hit in case we top deck Riptide Rex. We can go face plus Riptide Rex. Okay, okay. That's what I'm going to do. Now they're, they're forced to find a way to deal with C's voice. I don't really watch baseball, but my friends are big Twins fans, so I can periodically catch stuff about that. Yeah. I, I, wanna, I really want to be a full-time... Oh, heck yeah. That's two damage right there. I want to be a full-time side gig. I want to stream LOR plus baseball blog, and that'll be like my job. Plus I'll work with my mom's side business. So she has like an online graphics shop. That'll be what I do. Okay. I've been getting a few of the Lord of the Rings packs for Magic Gathering too, so that's been cool. My dad and I have been enjoying some of those cards. What is this about? Why, why, what does this do? I'm so confused. Oh, they wanted to transform Nar. Right, right, right. Okay. Well, I think I'll just still hold my cards in hand. If they develop next turn, we get to... Hmm. Okay, well now I need to hit Pirouette face right now. Plus, make it rain to hit face, plus a top deck to hit face. Like a another make it rain or something. Alright, well, I guess we're now in top deck mode. They had a lot of stuff this game, though. To stop us from dealing damage. <laughs> Fervor won't do it. We don't have any units. Ah! We need two actions. Brutal loss, man. Ah! I must have thrown somewhere in there. I felt like we were so far ahead. But they also had, like, triple broadmain for a combined eight mana <laughs> on board, like, of unit mana. So, three mana if you count the condensed mana. So, they played three broad mains for, what, 12 mana? That's not bad. I got you distracted, blame me. Nah, I don't know. Maybe I was just a bit too aggressive and flippant playing my creatures out into, like, a Lord Broadmain deck. But I guess my thought was, eventually they're going to get set up. I want to pressure them while I can. And we got close. Like, if we drew our copy of Fervor... Or another, like, if we ever drew I of Nakaburos, things like that. Timo, I'm going to pitch all of this. These are some really cool cards, though. Like, Swain, Leviathan, Alawi, I of Nakaburos. Like, that's that's a really cool hand. It's obviously just incredibly expensive to keep. But Sunny Sad. <laughs> okay, this is a much more interesting hand against... Wow, look at this. Okay, now we have the perfect anti-elusives... But this isn't the Ionia list, so what is this? Is this this isn't a timelines deck, right? Timelines isn't in standard. Just just puff gaps. Well, I'm probably gonna spend one heavy metal. Or no, I'll go. 
I'll go heavy metal. I do want to be careful of my health if this is a Teemo deck. This guy's so funny. Look at his cute little smile. I like him. There's this cute little stuffed animal. I work at a grocery store. And uh, we have a cute little dodo stuffed animal up for sale up front. He's adorable. But he costs like 20 bucks. And I'm like, I'm not paying 20 bucks for a dodo stuffed animal. I'll admire him at work. I'll play this now before they play any more units. Chump of Wumps is very silly. Clump of Wumps. I always thought it was Chump of Wumps. Oopsies. That's a nice card. We can go damage, stun. Oh, you think Chump of Wumps is the 4 4? Interesting. Okay. I think they might still end up hitting a Teemo, so I'll hold my pirouette. Auto mid silencing me for slaying chump, yeah. I can do this. I'll get another tentacle back at round start anyways. It saves three health. Plus it puts it in range of parlay, make it rain, pirouette. Pretty happy with this block. And we can also just play Swain, that's pretty good too. So what if we go pirouette first? Try to make them think we're just attacking with our tentacles and we're clearing the way. Then they commit something for five mana and then boom, swing gets in there. We could also just go Mirai Warden. But how do, they, how do they even deal with Swain? They'd, they'd have to block Swain. That puts Swain down to 3 damage and then they could kill him. But I don't know if they'd run something like Aftershock. Or get excited. Or excuse me, Explodrator. They'd have to use Aftershock or something like that. I'll just take the Pouty Portal for now. And I will get in here. They're probably going to just kill my C's voice. Which means our tentacle gets to be a 3-3 at next round start. Yeah, and then our tentacle smash should actually be really good. Our Rift Storm would be really good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Pupkit Peddler. I will kill that right away. I guess I, guess I shouldn't. If they have a Mystic Shot. I guess I'll just pass and kill it with a Rekite Sermon. That's a lot of mana. So hopefully they can't destroy us with Puff Cat Peddler here. I don't know how many fearsome blockers they'll have next turn if we continue to develop too. Like if we get Swain down. Yeah, just the triple mushroom cloud. Quadruple mushroom cloud. No, is it just triple? That's a lot. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good again. We have Again, we can just start with a pirouette. Ooh. Well, I guess, I guess I'll just do it now. Deal one stun. That's pretty good. They have... No way of really stopping Swain unless they have a Freezer Exploderator, right? I think we're looking okay. Our tentacle is huge though too, like, no keywords, but they're in, they're in trouble. What a silly little guy. Did Timo just say, die as you lived, smelly? <laughs> I didn't even notice that, that's actually really funny. Okay, I'll take my attack. Oh, 
Oh, I should probably attack with Swain first, I guess, right? Okay. Because that way, if he does hit, then we'll be able to trade with our other unit. That's fine. I will just kill Teemo here. Even if they use like an elixir of iron. Or no, I guess he wouldn't be damaged. I think he just dies. Alright, now I just need to get Leviathan on board. I'd be shocked if they run something like Buried and Ice, so I'm, I'm not afraid of just throwing everything under the board here. No pings to set up any of these. It makes me also just say, slam Leviathan here. Ah. I think we just kill them faster if I destroy the monument. Oh, that's actually funny though, because Leviathan will ping them for puff caps every turn, right? That's kind of funny. Haha, <laughs> get stunned. Who's the puff cap deck now? I literally say that every time I ever play against some monument decks, because there's always something silly like that that happens. Like this, we just got a free stun out of it. And you know, in other games, we'll just deal a ton of damage with the puff caps, it's funny. But I don't know how they stop this. Hmm, that's pretty good. Oh, that's brutal. Second harsh wins. So first Swain dies. Or they just save some health, sure. That's actually kind of wild. I think it is definitely better for them to try to kill Leviathan here since Killing the first Swain is a little redundant. But our opponent's down to three cards. They could put us down to six health, though. Like, we're not out of this at all. We need to hit something off the top, like a... Oh, oh yeah, Swain, Leviathan, Lock. Okay, perfect. Now we just win. If they don't kill Leviathan and Swain, they lose. They have to deal with four other units as well. Like, they're in trouble. I think this game's over unless they literally... Even if they run Barrier Knights, we just win with Mariah Warden. I always like seeing Puff Cap, deck, Puff Cap decks, though. They're always kind of just, like, silly and fun to interact with. They feel kind of like fun RNG without being obnoxious, like, keyword soup decks can feel oppressive. I don't know. It's interesting. Because there are different... Okay, okay, okay. Leviathan Trigger should go first. Okay, big game. <laughs> I was really worried. <laughs> if the card jaws go first or something. Cool. Good game. I want to check out some of these other deck lists. Sleepy Panda brought Swain Alawi, Fizz. Mm, what? I don't know why it's saying he ran Swain Alawi twice. Like, uh, anyways, B ran Fizz Samira. The Timo Ionia Elusives deck, interesting. And Nora Jinx, interesting. I like Nora. <laughs> fourth place! OS Euros ran the Poro King deck and got fourth place. Narjin and Vane Quinn Aatrox. Interesting. Some fun lists there. I'm keeping Mirai Warden because it's just a nice early unit to put up some pressure. And I have Narcobros is really good against control mirrors, control decks. Alawi dies to Soul Harvest. Not impressive.
I think I'm going to play Mariah Warren because there's a chance we draw something like our three mana unit off the top. Uh, Seize Voice. Or just another Mariah Warden. I don't want to, like, waste the mana in that sense. But if we hit an Ephemeral, I'll be sad. Okay, nice. We actually got a decent unit that can attack into this guy. Honestly, I really love just the region card backs. Like this Shadow Isles card back, the Bilgewater card back, the Ionia one, and Shirima ones, I think are also very good. I'm probably just gonna play Alawi here anyway. No, that'd be stupid. Then they, they literally just play. Crumble or Soul Harvest and we feel really sad. I'm just gonna get I have not got on board. I don't know how we're ever using Alawi. I guess I want her on board though before we play Swain and Leviathan. But if I have Soul Harvest, that's... I guess Soul Harvest can kill Swain too. Can kill unleveled Swain. Are we winning the game more through Swain or Alawi? Like, I think Alawi's never going to stick long enough. We can try to get one hit in here. That hurts. That hurts real bad. Six mana ruination. Oof. Okay, we have some plays. You could say I got a life with. I'll do this so I can open attack and put our tentacle out of darkness range so that hopefully they block with Senna and put it under one damage for us. Ooh, the other night, I sat down and worked away at a writing script for a video for a solid four hours. Now I've read it again, I've decided I need to write, rewrite it so much. Yeah, the- what is this? Oh, it's Dragon Halberd. Well, this is totally fine with us. If they block like this, we can just play Disintegrate. Then, even if they try to play something like a kill spell onto this tentacle, we just kill her with like a damage spell we were going to use anyways. Yeah, writing it is very hard to accept that, like, rewriting is an important part of creating stuff like that. Um, I love the one meme, it's like someone sitting at their laptop using... Or, like, sitting at the laptop and it uses the voice line, like, Wow! It's like, um, like when you're one year supposed to rewrite your script or whatever. Wow, that's a lot of words. Too bad I'm not reading them, you know, things like that. Uh, but it's like, too bad I'm not rewriting them. Rewriting is definitely, yeah, I think this is okay with us. Using a, using a red negation here. I don't know if it matters. In the long term. But it'll stop something like a, from 
from stopping our Riptide Sermon. Like, I'd much rather guarantee we resolve a Riptide Sermon at some point. Like, this guy's gonna be a problem. I don't know what we do about this. I guess we can just play Riptide Rex here. Wipe their board. Yeah, but like right of negation, I guess. I guess that's another important right of negation target, huh? But yeah, I am. Um, my my daily routine has been like I'll go to when I go to bed after streaming, I'll watch baseball for an hour or so. But I can't watch the entire game. Oh shoot! Okay, it's pretty chunky. Well, I guess we're forced to block there, huh? Now he has spell shield. Why do I feel so utterly like outmatched against some of these random decks? Like, I don't feel like I did anything crazy awful this game. But I feel like I got blown out pretty hard. That eradication play is pretty bad. I never even rewrite my writing for university assignments, if I'm being honest. So the fact that I'm doing this for a video that will be seen by maybe 50 people is a little silly to me. I don't know. I think there's more to be proud of in, like, doing, like, creating the video script and everything and having uh, fun with that and knowing you did a good job on it is more important than trying to make it popular. Like, when I stream, I have a, a good time with it. Even though only like, you know, two people watch me. <laughs> but like, I try my best. I love getting good at this card game for the sake of like that feeling of really trying to improve at something and, you know, a good, good job well done. Um, even if it's not the most popular type thing. Kind of like that, that, that self-fulfillment. That's why I love playing competitive League of Legends. I'm not trying to get to um, the pros, but I just love that satisfaction of improving it, you know, like, it's good work and fun to do the best work that I can, even if it's not going to actually be seen by any people. Like, I, I've been uh, doing this baseball block thing for about four days now, but it's fun, you know? Like, I, know, I, don't, I, I don't think literally anybody reads it except my dad, <laughs> but it's, it's just something I enjoy doing. I've always enjoyed writing and, like, watching sports and stuff like that. So we're turbo dead, by the way. I don't know if there's anything we can do here. I guess here we go. Like this. That way we have a fearsome blocker for Nasus. Um, but yeah, I haven't rewritten any of those baseball articles because I'll go to bed and I'll watch baseball for like an hour, but that's not enough to catch the whole game. So I'll wake up like an hour before work. Um, and write my article in the morning. But I only have like an hour, so I have to get ready for work in like, you know, 20 minutes or less and then cram out the article. So I, I haven't rewritten any of my articles, like I haven't even like proofread them pretty much. And so then I'll, uh, I'll like type it out as fast as I can, like, you know, while like still talking about what I want and everything. And making the points I want and everything. But I just like won't reread it because I'm like, I'm in a rush, I've got 40 minutes to crank this thing out. Uh, and so at work I'll check, like on my lunch break, I'll read through it real quick to check any typos I need to check when I get home. Writing for yourself is considerably more fulfilling than writing what you're forced to do, like, at school. Yeah, I agree. I've always loved writing even, like, essays for school and stuff all through high school. But it is much more fulfilling when you can write about a topic you enjoy. So even if it's, like, writing at school isn't fun in general, if it's writing in school about my favorite history subject, then I enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like, if it's writing about, like, biochemistry, I'm not a huge science guy. That kind of grates on me. 
I'll probably just keep Disintegrate and Watch Vital here. Um, same thing with reading. When I was younger, I used to hate reading when I was told to be reading something specific. But now, I love reading, you know? But I, it's because I can't remember the last time I was forced to read a specific book about, you know, some random topic. But yeah, I, I love the idea of writing. I'd love to go, like, do a, a creative writing course thing one day. Like, kind of like a... It's like a writer's... Master's degree equivalent type thing. I'd love to do something like that for creative writing. Like, fiction writing. But, uh... Wait, is this the same opponent? I don't even remember. But I saw the Mata Evelyn. And... I'd love the, I love the idea of writing. I read a ton of books about writing. But I don't spend any real time actually writing a book. <laughs> but I'd love, I'd love the idea of it. When I was majoring in math, I had to take some physics classes and write up la writing up lab reports is a pain. Yeah. I am curious how the husks... I'm really trying. Husks matchup will go, since it's so popular. I am going to play Mirai Warden so we can open attack before they play husks and get their stuff chunky. Yo, let's go Pora. We do have Ivna Kuburos, which is nice to help grind out the late game if we can get through their big units early on. And then make it rain disintegrate is obviously a fantastic removal option. And our finisher, I'm looking... I'm feeling pretty confident about our hand. Like right here, we can't do much if they play the Siren Song. I don't think I'll waste a make it rain on the first husk just to try to stop Evelyn from leveling. When we can just use Make It Rain Disintegrate to kill Evelyn. This is looking just like I want to squeeze out an I am not Kuburos here. Okay, and yeah, just domination uh, doesn't do enough for me to really care about keeping up Make It Rain Disintegrate. And if they run into my 3-3 tentacle, then we can just parlay. Nice draws. Our hand does look pretty good. Like, just the feel of this match. A lot of my cards feel like they are pretty useful in this matchup. Because they don't have a ton of useless. units that I feel are going to carry the game for them. Like, as long as we kill Evelyn, I think we're fine. Is there any reason for me not to block this? It puts my tentacle in hate spike range, but I don't think I care. Because we have so many ways of regrowing our tentacle. I just want to keep them off of spending resources on our champions, I suppose. Or we could just even start with an I am not Kuburos. Yeah, again, I don't know if I care about Evelyn as long as they don't hit like a spell shield husk into Evelyn somehow. That's pretty good. I think I can just pass though. I think I'm just gonna leave this big and chunky. So if they do play an Evelyn, we can kill it with Tentacle Smash. I guess I could take this attack here. But I feel like our tentacle smash is more threatening. We have ways to kill Evelyn anyways. So I'm just gonna take the trade and we can regrow our tentacle. Like if they lose this unit it's permanent but I guess we have enough ways to generate our board right? We have three different units right here. 
in Tentacle Smash, I have Necrobrus, Riptide Sermon. Plus, we know we have Riptide Rex coming. So if we keep their board pretty, pretty low, I think that's better for us. What are their top end cards? Like, how do they win outside of Evelyn? They go... Zelani. Right, okay, okay. Yeah. I definitely need to make sure we don't die to Zelani. <laughs> so yeah, keeping their board low is really good for making sure our Riptide Rex is good, and their Zelani is bad, so <laughs> don't want to run into that. I can just play Swain here and run into Sunburst. So maybe I'll wait until he's leveled. I don't want to lose him for free. Do we have any good plays here? How do we not die to Zelani and still develop on board? I am honestly a little worried about just running into a Sunburst here. Sunburst deals six to a unit. I guess they're gonna start like this. But then we potentially take a lot of damage on the hitback if they kill this. I think I'll just, I'll just kill this. We keep up a lot of mana, so we're not really leaving ourselves vulnerable to their Zelanis or anything. Okay, I'm also very okay with this outcome. We just get a 2-2 out of the deal. Like, I don't think that does anything for them, right? As, like, I don't know. I think that's fine. Ah, shoot, she has tough. See what's beneath while I see what's inside. That's actually really obnoxious. Hmm. Well, now we can at least stick Swain. Loyalty through conquest. Oh, wait, no, she doesn't have tough. Woo, wow, I, I just threw them. Hold on a second, I'm so bad. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I thought she was, um... Getting tough and so our, our parley wouldn't damage her. Oopsies. I probably would have just killed her then if I was paying attention. Because there was a chance now that this husk... If this husk rolled spell shield and then they played Zelani, we would have been in a butt ton of trouble. So uh, that was a little bit of a misplay. She has tough. Okay. So we need to just stun her for now. Figure out a way to deal with her later. So I can go... Deal one stun. And we just need to find like a Scorched Earth eventually. Hold on, what are we doing this turn? What are we doing this turn? We could just play I no no no. No 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 no. If we play this We can play Leviathan at least. Zelani has arrived, yeah. Very troublesome that we don't have an easy way to kill her. Uh, I think I'll just pass. Pass and play Leviathan, right?
Now I'm going to open attack. Shoot, if we had Disintegrate plus Rifted Rex. I'm just going to open attack with both. That way we can disintegrate Zolani with whatever they block with. Oh, this doesn't feel good. This does not feel good. I don't know what to do. The fact that we don't have any way of dealing two damage to Zolani makes me kind of sad. I guess we're kind of forced to then, huh? Dang. That kind of sucks. Hmm. An incredibly unfortunate turn of events. Yeah, hmm. Why do none of our cards deal two damage? Oh gosh, this is brutal. Man. I swear, the amount of games I've lost is Lonnie. This expansion, just because of this Husk deck. Brutal. Brutal! I thought we were in a really good spot too. GG's, I have to head out, but I wish you luck. Thanks, Max. It was nice seeing ya. Surely Siren Song will be nerfed soon. It wasn't even Siren Song in that game. We had all the disintegrates and stuff we needed. It was just tough on Zolani. Nerf tough. <laughs> Alright, see ya, Max. <laughs> uh, Orn Vein looks pretty good. Heavy Metal seems kind of broken in this matchup. Destroy units equipment and deal two to it. Not like either or. That's pretty nasty. We have our own aggressive curve here. Yeah, I'll just get Watch Flight on board. Because I'm going to develop Mariah Warden on turn two. So I won't have enough mana for heavy metal anyways. So if they want to equip this, I think that's kind of whatever. Maybe now we'll be able to win since we have the overpowered keyword. I would love to play heavy metal on this dude. I guess that was one argument to, sorry. God, he has tough. Literally the most broken keyword in the game. He can't... I thought he'd just be a two health unit. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. I could have checked the eye, obviously, but I literally didn't even assume I. I, I assumed I didn't have to check the eye because I thought I would die, but I forgot that like it would keep tough type thing. Interesting. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, why are you not killing that? Okay, that's fine.
I think I'll just... I think I'll just play Iron Knight Kaburos. I don't care about the innovative blacksmith having Pan of Pain. I think I just want to find our gas going forward. Keep Heavy Metal for something like another Darkened Spear that's much more threatening than Pan of Pain, you know? Because we can still use stuff like Tentacle Smash to kill Blacksmith. Eventually some Disintegrates. This is really risky, I feel. Maybe it's worth it anyway? No, I think I'm just gonna play Sea's Voice. I'll see what they do. Like, maybe they'll equip a Darkened Spear here? Okay. So now I can do this. And when I open attack, both my units will be at 3 health. So they'd have to trade their units here. Okay. We could double parley actually, but I don't think that's worth it. Because we can use this to set up better swing. Okay. I'll start with a Tentacle Smash. Try to get them to commit resources, like a freeze a freeze onto our Tentacle or a Pump Spawn onto Vein. And then we get to stick a Lowey. Okay. I guess this is a little prone to a Tumble if they want to. Hmm. I think I have the... Stop this somehow. Brutal, man. Ah, jeepers. I got so blown out today. Stand and be tested. Okay, well, that's at least one way to stop this. But they'll just resurrect it, so we're gonna have to sacrifice our Alawi anyway. Then they just tumble and win the game. Okay. Brutal. Wild game. Some of it was fun, but I think I tanked some of those pretty hard. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed them nonetheless. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Hao Qian, his deck list, definitely knows how to play better than I do. He was the one who got first place in that tournament. So yeah, I think Master Gunter streamed that tournament if you want to go check out how it was played out. I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you next time.